Welcome to this Brightline construction update. We will again focus on the cocoa tunnel jacking operation. This past week got off to a slow start but ended with the tunnel in its final position on April 2nd. On Friday, March 26th, the tunnel sections had been moved to their resting place for the next few days. With a planned completion date of the 28th, I expected all hands to be on deck. Meanwhile, dirt removal continues in front of the tunnel. I returned Saturday to find things pretty much unchanged from Friday. I had begun to think something must be holding up progress. Sunday was the same. No tunnel movement, but dirt movement continued. I couldn't visit Monday due to high winds, but Tuesday revealed that the tunnel jacking had resumed. Section 3 was in line and the entire tunnel length was being moved forward. Early on, the tunnels had moved as fast as 3 feet an hour. Now, with the roadway overhead, movement had slowed to maybe 1 foot per hour. On Wednesday, the tunnels kept creeping forward. Here we see them resetting before the next push. By Thursday, they had almost finished pushing the tunnel into position. Friday brought high winds, so I made a quick flight early after sunrise. The tunnel may be pushed another couple of feet, but it looks like they are very close, if not done. The overhead view gives a great perspective of the project. Thanks for watching this Brightline Cocoa Tunnel update. 
please see my other videos to see how we got this far. There'll be links below. I'll be covering roadway construction in my next video. See you then.